Hi everybody, it's Barb. Uh, got my little pot garden going. I don't think anything's coming up yet. I just put them in the ground a couple days ago. But all the pots have been cleaned out and seeded. Oh, I can see a skeleton of my Bonnie Bell back there that didn't get cleaned away. If I could or would. I do have wonderful supervising skills. And you can see all the dead leaves from the winter. Just need to be picked up. I need to get um I guess a little border for over there. Need more mulch. So I'm going to get probably 20 bags of red mulch. And get a little border for over there. I got some seeds at the dollar store. Four packets for a dollar, so... That's pretty good considering seeds have gotten so expensive. And I forgot that I did have a couple of um, flowers I picked off from last year, so I got some marigold seeds in there. I need to get them in the ground, but I'm not a slave driver and I'm in a wheelchair, so I'm kind of limited to what I can do except for try to motiv motivate other people to do and unfortunately the other people do not like garden work so a lot of it has gone undone um, I've been wanting to plant something along the fence there if you remember in a previous video, my son did um, plant a bunch of goonie seeds over there. I see one on the side of that cactus that's up against the fence. There's another cactus in a pot. But I think it's too little for you to see it from here. can barely see it but anyway I had seen a couple others at the other end goes around but we didn't get enough rain and they didn't get they got neglected and didn't and my husband said they're not there and I haven't been down I haven't been down there yet to look around the corner. I'll get there. Eventually, I'm just trying to look at what's here that needs to be done first. And I have to get somebody out here to do that for me. I did want, every time I suggest buying there's river rocks, believe it or not, under those leaves in that bed, flower bed. That pot's up against the rain gutter. Otherwise, it will um, make a noise. So that's why that's there. This needs to be cleaned out from the winter. And I wanted those leaves all out of there. And every time I suggest buying some more 
river rocks. Just maybe a few more bags to put it in there a little bit better. Somebody always says, no, we don't need them. But I think that when I get them to take me to Lowe's this year, would you look back on my previous video from last year and see <laughs> the silliness I have to put up with when we go to Lowe's. But I am in a position that I need all the wonderful help. I'm so blessed to have all this wonderful help. And if you see, my grape myrtle is budding. Well, not budding. It's got the full, um, I can't think the word for it. <laughs> the leaves are coming out. And that's, I thought that was a key lime. I found differently. I guess it's just a regular lime tree. And if you don't pick the limes, they turn orange, like oranges. So it looks like an orange tree. And I gotta get my son to pick those and throw them away. And just all these leaves need to be cleaned away. So, that is a project that hopefully will get done. But my seeds have already been seeded. Just don't see anything coming up yet. Except for some weeds on the side there. <laughs> that is a good question. Why do weeds do so good? other thing. I asked my I don't think they got those didn't guys didn't get watered. Hmm. I don't think he believes me when I tell him that we planted all of the pots. Put seeds in all of them. Even though I got some um, some of those going up there. So those have to be planted somewhere when they come out. She's coming back beautifully. She's even starting to get some bugs on her. See the little teeny pink buds coming out? She's doing good. She looks beautiful. She needs to be cleaned out. See a couple of weeds in there. But there's another flower there. Can you see it? Doing good. And another cactus. <coughs> this is a baby from my big, big, big monster cactus. If you've watched my previous videos, you see where my cactus fell over. It was all the way up. It was like probably 18 feet high. And it fell over during a rainstorm. I got it on video. Um, it's on there. It's on my channel. Anyways, my husband and son had to chop it all up and take the parts and pieces away and we got some plants, some that we shared with other people and oh, I kind of got them planted all over my yard, out in the yard, but I'm not going out there now. Anyways, the one that fell over got, what well, the bottom part of it got, it survived and they pushed it up with a couple of boards and it's growing it's got a lot of new growth to it it's on the other side of the house so i'll show it to you at another time but it's on my 
previous videos, just not the new growth on it, I don't think. Okay, well, just wanted to give you a little update on my little pot garden. So we'll wait to see what we get. Oh, a lot of peppers. I have to cheat and buy a tomato plant. But my tomatoes never... I think last year maybe I got seven tomatoes. And I had two tomato plants. And uh, it just was taking them a really long, long time to have the fruit, the fruit ready to be picked. So I think, and we use miracle Grow. So I think this year I'm gonna have them. And that soil down there has been, um, you know, it's got a lot of good soil in there, compost and manure and all kinds of good stuff. But um, because I had prepared it for other, we had, um, we had um, cucumbers in there last year, if you remember. And until the aphids got, <laughs> until the aphids got them. I just can't seem to attract enough ladybugs. So I think that's why over there around the shed, I'm gonna plant a lot of flowers and try to attract a lot of ladybugs. I'll get a lot of perennials, so then that'll Hopefully, I guess I should buy some landscaping uh, carpet so the weeds don't come up. So, we'll see. It's a good project coming up. Hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless everybody. Bye for now.